Hello, it's Spence, the evil genius from Witch of the Laboratory with your lab secrets tip of the day. Now, today I want to introduce you to one of my personal favorite plugins that's included in your lab secret solution. It's the admin menu editor. Really an outstanding plugin, and the reason it's my favorite is because it does two things really well. Number one, it lets you configure a custom admin dashboard for yourself out of the regular components and plugins included in your lab secret solution. But second of all, as I'm going to show you in a second, it gives you some secret superpowers. That is, it allows you to create a custom dashboard of third party pages or posts or control panels. In other words, it allows you to use your admin dashboard not only for controlling your WordPress based functions, but also for bringing in control over third party applications that you might have elsewhere. The most important thing that it does is it gives you drag and drop control over the various menu items. As you can see here, I can take whatever particular tab on the left that corresponds here and move it up or down. I can also add these separators or I can take away the separators. If I wanted to add a new one back in, I would just go over here, add a new separator, drag it back up into place. All this you've seen before in some of our other uh, Lab Secrets plugins, and it's very common in the WordPress environment. Now, the thing that's cool is in addition to being able to sort the order here, I can also go ahead and click on any particular one. Let's say, for example, let's find one that has a lot, like the appearance. And I can, on the right-hand side, rearrange the submenu items. So I could put editor above or lab theme there. Uh, I can also sort by alphabetical, either ascending or descending order. Of course, I can go ahead and delete any item as well, which is also very powerful because I can go ahead and remove things that I don't think are adding to my menu. Maybe they're just distracting me. Sometimes, for example, there are plugins or themes that have extraneous menus. If I'm going to order this in an alphabetical style, let's look at the next level of control. If I open up the individual uh, tab item here, you can see that I have three standard features that I can adjust. The title, uh, the required capability and the URL. Now the title speaks for itself. If I change this from appearance to cool looks and save it, you'll notice that basically two things are going to happen. First of all, it changes locally inside of this menu and it also correspondingly changed over here. So that's the number one way to go ahead and add some neat organization. Give it a title that makes sense to you. Next is required capability. This is really powerful. Basically this says that if you're building an admin dashboard that's going to be available to yourself, obviously it doesn't matter because you're the super admin. But what if you're going to have a situation, for example, where you're going to have blog authors or people contributing content to your site? In that case, maybe you want to build a special dashboard that has items that only they will see, but also only items that, that they won't see. So capability corresponds with the various roles in WordPress, as well as there's some other options you can put in. By default, most of the time you'll see that it comes with the read capability. And that says that uh, a normal subscriber to a WordPress blog, somebody who is just a regular visitor, has read-only capability. So this is sort of like global access because it gives just about everybody the ability to see this. On the other hand, if I scroll up here, you can see that I can also assign based upon specific roles. So I could assign, same idea here, uh, as a subscriber. This would allow this menu item to be seen by virtually anybody. On the other hand, what if I only wanted authors Again, people who are helping me administer the site and add content to see it, I would select that capability. If this is over your head, don't worry about it. It's something that's an advanced feature. Once you've started working with your lab secret solution in WordPress, you'll start to figure out what kind of items you want to provide to various people. Next is you've got URL. Now URL is pretty important to what I'm going to show you in a second, but basically this gives the native URL where this menu originated. And in our case, if I reset the original title by clicking here. For the native appearance menu, the native URL is themes PHP. Now that doesn't need to be changed under most circumstances, but I'm going to show you something that's going to really take this to the next level. And I'm going to add new menu. If I scroll down, I can see that menu here. Let's say we're going to build a custom dashboard inside of our lab secret solution to allow us to administer our support system. Now our support system is available over on Zendesk and it stands alone and we've included it in our normal menu at the lab secret solution. But effectively when I want to administer the various questions that come in or the emails, I have to log in on a regular web browser. What if instead I could make that an integral part 
of my lab secrets dashboard here. So I would never have to leave the one dashboard. All right, let me show you how we can do that. So I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to call it lab secrets support. Now I'm going to give the required capability as being admin because obviously in the event I do have some other things down the road, I don't want people to be able to see this option. It wouldn't make any sense to them. And now I could go ahead and put in the URL. Now for our URL, we have an actual outside URL. So it's support.labsecrets.com. And that corresponds with our Zendesk support system. Now let's click on show advanced options. I can put a window title in here. So that shows up at the top and we'll call it lab secrets support. Not really necessary because only I'm going to see it. But if I wanted to, it'll remind me on a quick glance what page I'm looking at. Now, here's the trick. This is the magical part. Open in. When you have the pro version of the admin menu editor, you've got a new couple options here. You can open that in a new window. For example, what if I wanted to click on the tab and open up a separate window on my uh, screen that allows me to administer uh, the Zendesk without having to go ahead and click in a new browser and open a tab. That's one way to do it. I'm going to go for the the frame version or iframe because this will allow me to do this within my existing space. Now I don't need to do the classes, although I should tell you, you can add a custom class in case you've got some styling you want to apply here. You can also put in a hook name. That's just so that each one of them is unique. You could also go ahead and add your own custom one as long as it's unique. I could say lab secrets support, for example. And lastly, this is the fun part. You can add your own custom icon. Now, what I've done is I've created an icon and I went ahead and I added it inside of my lab secret solution by going under media and add new. I'm not going to go into that in great detail, but basically when you go over here, of course, you'll be able to upload any image. So I just clicked on select file and I uploaded a 16 by 16 pixel PNG file. It had a clear background so that it will show properly on the left hand side. And I just got the URL of that, which I grabbed. So I'm going to paste that URL in and now I'm going to save this. Now here's the last part and the fun part. Now I can decide where I want to position this. So I take my new menu and of course I'm going to grab it with my left mouse and I'm going to put it up here with my other lab secrets goodies inside their separated area. Save the changes and now let's see the results of our work. When I refresh the page, hey, check it out. I've got my new lab secret support tab with its own custom icon, which will remind me what it's for on a quick glance. When I click on it, check this out. Voila, I don't have to go anywhere. Zendesk is now inside of my lab secrets dashboard, and I can do this with all of my outside services, whether it be high rise or Google or my Gmail or anything else that can be accessed via a web page can now be embedded inside of this solution, making it that much more powerful for you to administer either a single site or in many cases, multiple sites. Because remember, when you're using the multi-site version under our unlimited plan, you'll have a super admin authority here, extend that with the menu and all of a sudden, it's like you've got world domination. This is Spence, the evil genius from Witch of the Board.